An Umbra state and the southeastern part of Nigeria have in recent weeks seen a spike in attacks by an unknown gunmen. Less than two months ago, Okechuku Okoye, a state lawmaker representing Agwata II constituency in the Anambra State House of Assembly, was kidnapped and later killed with his head hung on a spike. On Sunday, September 11th, dear devil gunmen attacked the convoy of Ifanyu Ba, a senator representing Anambra South Senator District. The attack is believed to have occurred at about 6 p.m. local time at Nkwa Junction in Uguku in Njikoka local government area of Anambra State. Although he escaped unharmed because of his armored vehicle, some of his aides and police orderlies were not as lucky. According to eyewitnesses, the convoy was ambushed by heavily armed men who opened fire from all directions. The police public relations officer in Anambra State, Tochuku Ikenga, says the commissioner of police had earlier led operatives to the scene and will remain on ground while making frantic efforts to identify the culprits and get to the root of the killings. While condemning the attack and killings, Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo describes the attack as a last-ditch effort by a sinking boat, which he says will not deter him from winning the battle against criminal elements in the state. And although the exact number of casualties in the attack remain unknown, the bodies of at least five people, including some policemen, have been recovered. The Nigerian government has repeatedly blamed the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra through the Eastern Security Network for attacks in the southeast, but the group has denied any involvement in the killings. President Mohamed Buhari, who is visiting neighboring Imo State on Tuesday, had last month given an order to security chiefs to wipe out insecurity in all parts of the country. Amaka Udewalka, Arise News.